By the end of the video, you know how to get Spores of Conquest as a solo player. The way you'll be getting Spores of Conquest is through the raid chests, and you'll also get raid gear that you have from collections. And you can open these raid chests on all three characters. And as well as getting Spores of Conquest, you can get God Roll raid weapons, as well as red border weapons so you can craft them. Now the first chest location is in the Vault of Glass raid. Once you've loaded in, go to the right side and follow where I go. You need to use the spiral to glitch under the map, then follow where I go to get to the chest, and the sword will help you through this area. Once you're in this area shown on screen, stand under the light and jump forward and this will kill you instantly and put you back into the map. Then from here all you need to do is walk to the chest. Now in the last wish raid, there's a raid chest that you can get and you'll need to first go into the Morgoth encounter, then watch where I go to get the chest. Now there's also another chest that you can get, but you'll first need to load the Shuruji checkpoint and then turn around and follow where I go. There will be a fourth chest that you can get through the deep stone crypt raid and it will be at the start and you need to use the sparrow to go into the bubbles and survive. So all you need to do is follow where I go on screen so you'll be able to get to the chest. Also if you struggle to get any checkpoints you can go to the d2jetpoint.com website and
And the fifth chest they can get will be in the Valve Disciple Raid. So get a good heavy weapon to kill Severfin, then spiral to the opening encounter. and take out the three abominations. Once they're all dead, the darkness buff will go away. Then you'll need to shoot the darkness crystal, and you need to shoot more of these to get the secret chest, and watch where I go to shoot the second and third crystal. and the secret chest will be in the building on the right. And after learning about how to get Spools of Conquest as a solo player, you'll need to know how to get Spools of Conquest through one specific raid. And the only way to know how to do it is through this video shown on screen.